Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapcha. So in this Python series, as of now, we have covered a basics of Python. Now I'll try to move in advance in Python. So today we'll see how we can send an email using a Python. So I'll be using SMTB lib libraries to send an email, and I'll be utilizing my Gmail to send an email using the Python. So I will just try as a learner. So I will produce some errors, which all errors are basically a beginner will face. And then I will try to resolve that and tell you the solution whenever you are getting that error. So first I will, in this advance, I will create uh, two files. So first I will just create file name as a, my email demo or just email demo dot py so always remember so don't create any file name with email dot py so it might conflict with inbuilt python modules or directory so just either create demo dot something give proper name but don't give email dot py or something okay so i'm just giving email dot py so here i will write my code and suppose i need to write an password for my gmail account on id and don't want to write it in my main file so what i will do i'll create one more file and i will just give the name as a var.py where i will store my variables so now here i'll write my code so i'll start by importing smtb lib library so that is a simple mail transfer protocol library so this is inbuilt library and you can simply import it you don't need to install explicitly okay if it is not valid it will give an error so currently there is no error and i will create two variables here okay so i will create sender email and i will create receiver email okay I'll, now i'll just show you i will be utilizing my two uh, gmail accounts so I will use this as my receiver email so this is my dot at the rate tech capture organization email id and this is my simple gmail id which will be i will be using for sending an email so i'll just copy this email id so there won't be any typing mistake okay and i'll write my receiver email here okay so these two email i have written here and now i will create a connection now just take an example whenever we are sending email using a gmail so first thing you will do you will just open your gmail in chrome so the take the similar scenario here first we'll create a connection with a gmail so i will just create a connection So you can give any name here yes y z anything but what is important is smtp lib dot smtp and here i'll write a google smtp server so if you are using organization and they have provided you email id uh, host name smtp host you can use that but for now i am using the gmail smtp host that is smtp dot gmail dot com okay so i only created a connection as of now so i'll just mention here get connection in comment so it will be easy to understand and just for a security i'll just start a tls so it's just like we are using https gmail for browser so we'll use a tls here i'll simply write connection dot just you start typing it will give you an suggestion if it is not giving just install a python extension so you can go here in extension and you can install a python extension okay so for me already install this python extension so you could see it is showing option to uninstall so if you have not installed it will give you option to install so you install the python extension so it will show you all suggestion and uh, syntax errors whenever you are typing 
now once we open a browser once we open a gmail next thing you will do is you will log in using your credential so same thing i'll do here in python also i'll log in now so i will use connection dot login once you type connection and dot it will give you suggestion and in this i have to give the parameter so you could see i just typed i'll just go back and i'll show you so i just type connection dot and it this is giving me these many options so i will use a login and after login i'll just write this bracket and i will type control space so once you type control space it is giving option for user and password so first i will click user so who is my user to login so this is a sender email so we'll be logging using a sender email so this is the email so simply i'll write here sender email password now suppose i have to write password here so i have to import from my var file so i didn't give one a password here so here what i will do i'll just type pass is equal to and for now i will just type xyz at the rate one two three okay so i will type a correct password and here also we need to write import os okay there is some error in this file so i'll go back and i'll just remove these spaces and instead of pass i'll type password okay now this error has gone so i will change my password to original password once i pause my screen again because i don't want to show my password to anyone and here what i need to do i need to import where okay and once i did import so i'm just saying import all the variables and uh, methods from this where file and here i'll just if i type dot it will show me this first password okay so it is importing that one so i just made a connection here now let me try this if this connection is working fine or i'll get an error so first we'll try to log in and i'll just type here logged in successfully we have to print the statements in between so it will help us to debug the issue where the error is coming and here I'll just type connection made successfully okay and now I'll just run this code and we'll see where we'll face and error or it will print a connection successfully and logged in successfully so we'll see that now it will show you this prompt that this python is not added as a trusted email client or python is trying to send an email kind of security warning if you antivirus so this is warning for my quick heal antivirus so i'll do no here so there won't be any effect and it will execute our code okay so now we have got an error so what is the error that attempt was made to access a socket in a way forbidden by its access permission so whenever we get this error now you have understanding that it socket means something related to networking it means port so we have missing port here so what i will do i will add a port for smtp you can either add 25 or 587 port so i'll add a 587 here okay and we'll see if we get a same error or any different error now so i'll execute again just 
controller okay now it made connection successfully now just see the benefits of printing statements in between okay so i'll just try to go up here you could see the connection made successfully that means our code is right till this point tls till tls our code is fine like line number 12 and what is the error now username and password not accepted so i am giving the wrong password here okay so what i will do now i will pause my screen and i will change my password and i'll come back to the screen again all right i changed my password and now it is having correct email id and password so let me clear this and try to execute my code again okay so now connection made successfully and it given the error application specific password required so now there was a different process earlier so whenever we are using our gmail credential with any of the programming language like python we have option to make uh, some setting change in uh, gmail so ideally earlier there was option so here we used to go to manage google account and in security so we have option so let me type so it's disabled from uh, gmail accounts now let me show you in workspace account so uh, this is my organization or identity account so earlier when i used to go in this and uh, security in your gmail account there would be one option uh, less secure apps and once we turn it on we will able to send email using our uh, personal account but now what happened google has made some changes to their security policy and if you see uh, the notice from google so they have disabled these uh, so less secure apps has been disabled from may 30 2022 so now we have other option to send a uh, email in python or any programming languages using a gmail that we have to set up apps password so i will show you how to set up the apps password so i will use my gmail id from which i am sending an email so i will go to manage account and here in security if i scroll down here you could uh, see apps password so currently there is no apps password so you won't see this apps password button if you don't have this two steps verification enabled so first you have to enable this two step verification so it will ask you to enable a prompt on your mobile so you can enable that and once it is enabled it will show you the option for apps password so now i will go to apps password and i will just enter my email id here here i will just select a mail device i will choose custom and a name i will just give python and i will generate so it will generate one sixteen digit password i will copy it and i'll paste it in my password section here as it is so i am not using any variable file here so i am simply putting this 16 digit password in my password tab and if i execute it now now you could see first it made connection successfully and now it's logged in successfully so again we have to write one thing connection dot close okay so it will close a connection i will just print 
closed connection successfully. Okay, and I'll execute it again. Okay, so first it made connection, then it logged in, and then closed connection successfully. Now I want to send an email, so I'll write it before closing the connection. So here we have to just type dot and you could see send email and here I have to write here from address so from address will be sender email comma to address so to address will be receiver email okay and message what message I want to type so message I will just write in my email Python email testing okay I'll save it and now I'll try to execute it again okay and one more thing I'll write here once if this above statement is successful it will send send email successfully okay so just we'll get to know if it is doing all these statements correctly now I'll execute connection made successfully logged in successfully sent email successfully and closed connection successfully now I'll go in my mailbox and check if I received an email so I'll go to this and you could see I received an email that Python email testing time you could see 1645 just a few seconds before now this is the way we send but if you are not giving email subject this might go in your spam so I will try now giving a subject line as well so I'll go and I'll give the subject line to give the subject we have to just write here itself subject colon email test and backslash n so let me save it and try to send again and we'll see if it will send successfully and throw an error we'll just format this okay and i'll execute this again now email sent successfully let me check now if it sent with the subject line yeah now you could see earlier there was no subject and now it's sent with the subject so this is the way we can send an email using python and now i closed connection also so you can send an email using the python with this smtb library so let me know in case if you have any question or queries or facing any error i'll try to answer in the comment section so thank you thank you for watching this video